Bas Mascherano, one of the greatest um, stealers of the ball, if you like, and he's fast as well, will mix better with Piquet. Plus, if you remember in, in the second game, in the 1-1, uh, you saw Busquets... ...hands on Spain's Copa del Rey. Let's cross to the commentary team. Jerry Armstrong is alongside Kevin Keatings. Thanks, Mark. Uh, on Saturday, and there's not an awful lot to choose between them, and their confidence has been boosted with 10 men getting an equalising goal and drawing 1-1. First involvement for Ronaldo. Now, was he caught there? Did in that unfamiliar position, drawn out wide by Ronaldo. Every bit 35 yeah. meters. What did David Villa do wrong there to be penalised? Now, Mascherano lost the flight of that initially and just got away from Ronaldo. It was a, a gift of a free kick, that, though, for Real Madrid, I felt. I will see as you, Kevin. I'm bemused by the, the, the decision from Undiana Malenko. Ronaldo, another one having a great season. You get around the pitch, particularly important to try and nullify the forward runs of Dani Alves. Here's Ozil, onside, chances here for Real Madrid. Ronaldo, great chance! Cleared off the line, still Ronaldo. It was Mascherano who got back there, not sure whether it was going in, but he took up a great position there, Javier Mascherano. Madrid, great attacking Fleur. Di Maria's pass was superb. And you can see it's Adriano that's come across. Lovely little chip to Ronaldo over the top. I don't think it was on target. I think it was going wide of the far post. A player for Real Madrid hasn't scored this season. Yes. And it shows. PK cut out easily by Cavallo. Lionel Messi. Good tackle. Given away though. Di Maria who got back to check him. Xavi Alonso. Here's Ronaldo. Julio Salinas says, really. Both these sides' standards, their quality's been certainly a lot less than we expected. Could you imagine the pressure that. Pepe it's it's the final ball that's let them down or the final shot on goal and they have to start making these opportunities count Ronaldo invites a run forward here from Di Maria He'll get there ahead of Alves the balance of power has certainly shifted in recent times in Barca's favour here's Ronaldo almost on the end of a perfect chip forward he looks certain to get something you would say certainly as you look again have a look, this is a glorious pass. He's onside, and he's going to swing at it, and he doesn't make contact, but it was a, it was a great chance. Could have taken it down if he wanted to, Kevin. Di Maria. Offside so. against Ronaldo. Well, he's well offside. He shouldn't be in that way. Kedira. Oh, he's so congested there, and that's a mistake. Urzel's breaking forward, he's giving it to Ronaldo. Chance to take on Busquets. Ronaldo, he'll beat him for pace. Can't beat the outstretched, strong right arm, though, of Pinto. Well, this is a shot on target. Good save. There. Brazil. Good looking cross. And the header off the post. Pepe denied, Pinto was beaten. Corona sharpness and movement, be it physical or emotional or whatever it is, we're just not seeing the best Barcelona, because they know by heart exactly what they have to do, what they've been doing for the last three, four years, but they're not doing it tonight. Body language, the difference between Mourinho and Pep Guardiola, Mark then at half-time, Pep looks more anxious of the two, and it's on the cup. Back to the commentary team, Jerry Armstrong's alongside Kevin Keatings. Ke counter attacks so Busquets is playing in uh, midfield, here's Ronaldo, could have head that one on towards Pepe, Pique got there, for... he lost the opportunity, yeah. absolutely crucial, and that it was well timed by Cavallo, Marcelo, it's a well-weighted pass for Cristiano Ronaldo, under pressure from Mascherano, couldn't find Barcelona, there goes Ronaldo, always difficult one to control. 
And the one thing I've noticed as well in the last 20 minutes, Kevin, they're not closing down and not pressing as well as they did in the first half. And again, that's probably down to fatigue. But now Cristiano Ronaldo on the counter-attack. No free kick for Ronaldo. It's Indiana, mate. If they can beat Iker Casillas from that sort of range. That's a free kick. That's definitely a free kick on Ronaldo. Adriano has fouled him. He's caught his standing leg. Scored his first goal against and intervals here. Iniesta via trying to flick that into the path of Iniesta. So very tight. Just need a bout of possession here. Mourinho's side. Ronaldo. Oh, well played, Adriano. Messi. Adebayor. Good first touch. Opened up a little bit of space for Emmanuel Adebayor. Ronaldo. Chance. Ronaldo. And Alves is back there. So quick to recover. What a tackle. And that's trademark of his talents, Kevin. He is recovery. You can see he's got, what, three or four yards? Hard as he get there. Ronaldo gets one touch. This is a big tackle here. Brilliant tackle from Dani Alves. 2011 Spanish Cup final. I think we all hope it doesn't go to that. Good play, Ronaldo. Can he win it now? Any goal now likely to be a winning goal. Di Maria hit it well and Pinto flies across. What a game it's been and we've yet to have a goal. How? We're not quite sure. Well, two very good goalkeeping performances. Pinto, uh, they will be more dangerous. But against, uh, you can see that Real Madrid is playing counter-attack and uh, they are quite dangerous too. I'd like to say sit back, relax and enjoy. You can't relax. It's edge of the seat type stuff and we're going all the way through extra time and maybe towards penalties. Back to the commentary team once again, Jerry Armstrong's alongside. The game is excellent, and there's Messi again. Good tackle from Marcelo. Oh, missed uh, timed head of that from Adriano. Is there a nudge there on Cristiano Ronaldo? Oh, play. And Pepe eventually getting the better of Alves. Looking here for Ronaldo, always beating him. So no, he's done the Elvis, but then when he wins it, it's got away from Xavi. Uncharacteristically, Xavi Alonso slide rule pass. Ronaldo's onto it here. Oh, and just wide of that far post from Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that's what they've got to do. They've got to hit them on the break, and that was a superb counter attack break. Pressure applied by Pepe on the first touch of Xavi, and once they break away, there's the pass. Ronaldo's too quick. Gets in the header, Adriano, and he whistles it wide of the far post. That's so close. But these are the chances, Kevin, you must. So often lead to tired minds. Will it be a flash of genius or a mistake that settles this Spanish Cup final? Di Maria. Good ball from Marcelo, that. Great cross, header, goal! Cristiano Ronaldo! A magnificent header! Real Madrid with a breakthrough. What a big goal that could turn out to be. No chance for Pinto. It was glorious. Well, they've been reduced, Kevin, to hitting on the counter-attack. They've had two good counter-attack movements in the second or the first period of extra time. But this is superb. Marcelo picking the ball up, left-hand side. And he does ever so well with Di Maria. 1-2, Di Maria's cross is superb. Far post, have a look at this one. He's up early, Ronaldo, and he pours the header. Back across goal into the opposite corner. Magnificent goal. That is a magnificent goal. Is it going to be the winner? Uh, just looking here again at Pinto. He's come close to getting a hand to it. He need as they come up to half time and extra time. And once they get their noses in front, as I said earlier, Real Madrid tend to the break in added on time. And there is the whistle from Undiano Mayenko. And look at Guardiola, wants his players as quickly as possible to 
try and instill some confidence back into his team. But Cristiano Ronaldo's header as Real Madrid won up. Our studio guest tonight, Rafa Benitez and Guillaume Balagay. Rafa, what do Barcelona have to do here to improve their chances of getting an equalising goal? I think that they were doing well. So this uh, extra time, they were pressing at uh, the same level that normally they press and they have more possession. So uh, Real Madrid did well with this goal, but Barcelona was doing the right things. They probably needed Barcelona to release the ball a little, a little bit earlier. There was too much um, keeping the ball, but obviously it's so difficult to break that kind of defence that went deep as he had done in the second half. So perhaps if you had to uh, put somebody at fault, it was a little bit of that. And you saw it in the last three minutes of this first half of the extra time, they can move the ball quicker. Why didn't they do that before? Not many options in terms of personnel for Pep Guardo to change things. You uh, say? The experience that you need. No way through for Pedro. Well, the situation's good for Real Madrid. You know, they can absorb the pressure and then... Yet. Fred, Kate, uh, Adebayor's done really well back there. That's an excellent pass as well. Ronaldo almost got onto it. Just got there in the end, Adriano. Just trying to think back, Jerry. The last time we've seen Barcelona fans with glum. Ronaldo intercepting the messy pass with ease. Cristiano Ronaldo. Has he bought the free kick there, Adriano? Yes, says the referee, and it will be a. A booking for the Barcelona left back. Alonso again. Adebayor. And a, oh, a chance to win it there. This is Ronaldo. Well, what an important stop from Pinto. That certainly would have settled it. Well, it's Pinto's made the first save, but then the next one is Dani Alves, who comes round here. Watch this, Dani Alves gets his body in the way and it goes off the leg of Dani Alves and some hard where they want it as we head to stoppage time in extra time. Granero, and those saves. Away by Alonso. And it's all over. Real Madrid have broken Barcelona's stranglehold. Cristiano Ronaldo wins the Copa del Rey with that glorious header. And just look at these scenes of celebration, Jerry. Well, it's a fight that they can't be beaten and it'll give great belief to Ronaldo. £3 million pounds on players. Perform at the same level or you will lose. Mourinho knew it. He did it with Inter. He did it make any difference? And the answer to all of that is yes. Feria. So we're going to change the defensive line up or down or whatever, but we're going to defend. And they stick to it, and it worked. And Barcelona should have played better. It was, this would be a lesson to Barcelona, a lesson that probably... Would... It's clever. He knows that, uh, and Guillem was uh, saying before, maybe for Barcelona will be uh, be careful. So I think that will be... Uh, what they needed, and Ronaldo, it was fitting that he... To know your players, you need to know if you can do it. And I thought, OK, they decided to do it in this way. Uh, you say before, no, um, we have to see the, the Champions League. It will be very, very interesting to see what happened in the Champions League.